everybody, welcome back to another week of Duffs to Darts. I am Ed, taking you guys on the weekly journey from the mid-range handicap down to what is intended to be a single digit every week, every month, every day, to the best of my abilities, on my budget, with my daily grind of being a dad. So where are we this week in our practice, in our pursuit for getting better at this amazingly difficult, super complicated, pain in the ass game of golf that we all know and love. Well, not a good week. Not a good week for a couple of different reasons. Well, I got the um, the golf lab back in order once um, my wife's shelves and everything were put in. I cleaned up all the stuff that we did on that that we talked about last week. So I got the um, my net back up. I bought these two little clips for the um, impact screen that clip over a little like little quick little quick release clips. Put those on the net uh, so I can take that on and off easily. Like if I go to hit out in the yard, I don't need the impact screen because the net can you know go, but not important. And then I took uh, two pieces of uh, old laminate flooring that I had in the garage that was here when we bought the house. And I taped that down between the two uh, hitting mats I have and then the seams so they stop separating because they're kind of rubbing apart a little bit. Did that, worked on um, a lot of wedges, more wedge distance. I did a live session this week where I went live on uh, Instagram. If you guys aren't already, you know, right at the beginning of the video was my Instagram handle. So you're going to want to follow that if you're not already. Just do it. Because you love me. And uh, also, while we're talking about doing stuff, down here, subscribe train. Hit it right there. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And there's a lot of stuff on here. You got, you may be here from a sub-70 video or whatnot. We're growing the Duffs of Darts thing. Stick around. We do this every week. It's an ongoing process. Did that. Did the live session. When I did the live session, it was a uh, target session. Looking at about 135 yards. So I was hitting a 9-iron. And the swing caddy was being a douchebag. It wasn't working really well at all. Uh, it wasn't picking up shots. I was saying I was hitting it like 100 yards when I know damn well that I was not hitting it 100 yards. So it made it quite difficult. But I keep working on that draw. keep working on that motion. That's been a big thing this year, working on that, that swing to consistently hit it and trust it. Uh, because it feels good when I strike the ball. I hit a better draw with my irons and with that sub-70 driver that I'm hitting right now. That guy? Well, that's the bag for the, the weights and the, the knot, but you know what. The sub-70 driver that I'm hitting right now, uh, it's definitely a lot easier to hit a draw with that. I don't hit a very good uh, cut with it at all right now, which is fine. And the intent was to go play today as I'm recording this. This is Monday. The intent was to go play today. However... As many of you guys know, my replacement at work um, is my job is ending next next Thursday, the 29th, or 30th is my last last working day. Um, my job is ending, and my replacement uh, at the office, she's been really sick, she hasn't been feeling well, a lot of medical stuff going on with her, so unfortunately she's been out of the office, so everything that I have transitioned off of my plate it's all back in, so it's been a super crazy hectic uh, day at work, or week of work last week. She's still sick today. Uh, my boss uh, let me know, uh, she let me know what was going on um, yesterday via text message, and she's seriously the best boss I've ever had, so why not do a solid for her, and she's done so much for me, canceled my PTO work today. It's been busy. That's why we have ourselves a nice glass of Woodford Reserve, taking care of things. So we, we had golf planned. Not a big deal. We'll have lots of time for that in the future. So there's that. Um, over the weekend, I got really sick um, with a migraine. Woke up Saturday morning about 5 a.m. Horrible migraine. Horrible, horrible headache. Uh, so bad that I was actually throwing up all morning until about um, about 10, 10 o'clock in the morning or so. Kept throwing up, um, couldn't keep any water down because my head was just hurting so bad. And I've been really lucky with migraines this year. I mean, my headaches are getting a little bit worse lately, but that was a bad day. 
got that taken care of. Luckily, at the same time, my daughter's friend came over for a play date, and uh, the little girl, her sit, her her mom was my next door neighbor in high school. So my wife and I have been friends with her since you know since high school, and her husband Aaron. So if Aaron, if you're on the channel now, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the party. And the rest of you guys subscribe too. So Aaron started playing Sub 70s. He's starting to become a big fan of it. He's a member at Bull Valley, which I did a video for, played last year. So him and I went into the garage, into the golf lab, and uh, we're you know, showing him the Sub 70 driver. But he's like six, like three, so like he can't hit driver in my garage. He can hit irons, but. So we were talking golf for like 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Poor Kaylee just had to sit there and listen to her, these two men just talk golf and just completely nerd out. She was like, do you two want to have a play date and whatnot? So that was funny. Um, that was Saturday. And then after that, I took care of some stuff in the yard. Didn't really get any practice done in the nighttime. Did some more chipping uh, with the kitties in, the, in the, uh, the upstairs. They love the chipping game. Uh, I, last night... Another chipping night with the plastic golf balls that I've got. I don't have any down here right now, but the little you know little plastic golf balls we've all used. I set up a launch well, as a laundry basket on the other side of the room and was chipping to the laundry basket. And if they weren't going in, they were like hitting the edge of the basket or just right near it. So my my tempo, my I'm clipping them nicely. So good practice with that. And it's really been showing because my chipping the last several rounds has been on point. Um, so that's. If the putting could keep up with it, we'd be all right. A little bit of lag putting, not not a lot of that, mostly just chipping. And like I said, I was supposed to play today, didn't play. Uh, put work first, patient first. I work in the uh, medical field, patient focus. That's, that's how we live our life. But the Woodford Reserve was, uh, was calling my name when I logged off. So what do we have planned for this week? Uh, more work. It'll be a busy week. Get some practice in when we can. Maybe we'll get a lunch bucket in there. We'll see what's going on. I'll do a lunch bucket. And if I do, I'll go live on Instagram when I do it. And then we've got uh, the Cubs game. I'm a Cubs fan. You probably can't see it. It's up there. But I'm a, I'm a big Cubs fan. And yeah, I'll just show you. Just show you. These two things. I got my, you know, my, my, my Cubs uh, baseball, uh, golf ball. Right there. But then obviously my... World Series replica ring, which Ben Zobrist needs to get his ring back because if you don't know about that situation, you need to look it up. Anyways, uh, we're going to go to the Cubs game on Wednesday, taking the kids there. My son's playing on the Cubs for a fall ball, so it all works out great. Do that on Wednesday. This weekend, my wife is going to Galena, Illinois, uh, with her mom and sister for the night, so the kids are going to be with me. Uh, we're going to do Angry Bird Pizza, and we're going to watch Angry Bird's movie and have kind of a father-kids night, Have spend some time with them. During the day, uh, definitely have a practice session in there as well. We'll see what the weather looks like. Maybe i got to close my pool, so depending on how long that takes, maybe we'll take the kids to go play nine holes. We'll see. we'll see how that works out. I'd like to, but no promises on that. That's that. Uh, Friday is my goodbye to everybody at my work. We have like a goodbye barbecue, so that's going on with that. Um, you may be wondering what's going on with like midweek practice sessions. They're not happening. We've got ninja class. We've got cheerleading on the same night. We've got tumbling on Tuesday nights. We've got baseball practice on Tuesdays as well. Uh, we have a baseball game on Thursday. So today that I'm recording this is honestly my only free day all week. I have something going on every single day. It's okay. It's part of being a dad, part of what this uh, Duff's and Darts journey is all about. It's about just trying to find time the best that we can to practice the best that we can. Uh, not where I want to be. We're not going to be there this year. We're going to try our best to get our index down to where we were. The lowest we were this year was like a 12. The beginning of the year, I was playing like every weekend. I was hitting a lot of balls, and then I kind of fell off in the summertime. A lot of stuff was going on. Started going backwards, started losing a lot of golf balls off the tee. Not having good scores, but that's okay. It's a progression, it's a grind, right? So pretty simple, pretty low-key week this week. You guys, I don't write this beforehand. I just literally just spew out into the camera while I have a, have a drink occasionally. So 
I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, you know, you already hit that little subscribe bubble, you know, earlier. If not, go ahead and hit it now. I appreciate it. Um, that's it for this week of Duffs of Darts. Let me know what you guys are working on your own game down below in the comments. Until next week, guys. Keep grinding.